and fancy beauties and bows this is your girl Gina and welcome back to the channel today's video I'm just going to take you through my home and show you the improvements that I made um, some redos that I did move arounds that I did however you want to see it but I wanted to share it with you today so as you come in the door on my right side which may be your left side you will see the Fourier area quote unquote and there I just have placed two lamps I have a nice little arrangement a couple candles here the candlesticks are on the side I haven't quite decided what I want to put right there um, but once I decide what I'm gonna put I may go ahead and update you guys with that but until then this is the setup that I have for you guys to see for today and then as you move around through the kitchen you will see that there is my dining room table I have featured this on my channel before where I showed you guys how I put together that centerpiece from Pier 1 Imports and if I can remember I will link that down below in the the description bar for you guys to take a look at I know some of the items that I picked up may either be already gone or they may be on sale even so I will still link that down below for you the table that you're seeing right now it comes from Batcock and I believe I paid $800 for it I also wanted to go back and get two more chairs unfortunately I was not able to get those chairs as the store that is nearest me they don't carry those chairs any longer so what I opted to do is I placed a bench there instead and I purchased this bench from Wayfair and I too will link that down below for you to see if that's something that you may be interested in purchasing as well and I think it goes well it's not a perfect match but it is close enough for me to do what I needed and then as you look on the counter space here I just put some items that I thought would kind of enhance the kitchen my home is not very modernized as far as the the wall decor you know with the black backsplash and things like that so I was just working with what I have at hand I am renting this home so I'm not able to redo the interior as I would like to so I just went and just purchased some things that would enhance what is already here and I purchased those two Buddha heads and I believe I purchased those from home goods if I'm not mistaken and then you'll also see that I have uh, just put some counter can canisters over to the side in the corner there just to keep the white theme going I wanted to go with white as opposed to any other color just so it can bounce off of that black full granite countertops and then on top of the refrigerator I just took a, a clear vase and then I picked up those faux plants from Walmart and it was left over from the Christmas decor and I figured since I'm a glam girl I'm a bling girl I figured it would go good with that vase and then the little round accessory right there next to it I believe I picked that up from home goods as well the two books that is sitting on top of those came from home goods as well and I just wanted to give it that layer effect so when you come through the door you'll be able to see that decor as you can see my home is an open floor plan which can be a little hard to decorate and maneuver your pieces where you want them to go 
So before I made that picture there, I had, um, there's a uh, air conditioner that's right behind that picture and it was an eyesore and it just would not help me to flow the two living room and the dining room area would not allow me to flow that as I wanted it to flow. So my brain <laughs> got to thinking and I was like, oh my God, I could put a picture right there. So that's what I did and that picture came from Home Goods, and all I did was made sure that it was gonna cover as much as I needed it to. Since it was a spontaneous decor placement, um, it's not covering as much as I needed to cover, but it's covering it enough to where that air conditioning unit is not showing. And that was the goal. And then as you can see, I just put my faux plants right there, or my flowers, if you wanna call it that as well. Those came from Z Gallery and I already had those vases and they came from, I believe I got those from Roses uh, Outlet Store out here in North Carolina. And I just decorated those with some uh, items that I got from Walmart and just made everything come together as you can see here in the video. So as we move away from the dining room area, it goes right into the living room area. And off the living room, there is a sunroom. And inside of the sunroom, you see that I just placed a love seat sleeping sofa, which was purchased from Walmart. And that cost was $2.99.97 or $99 or something like that. So I just placed that in there, put some pillows, and then I brought in my coffee table that I had in the living room and just placed it out here, along with that dining room table that I first purchased to go inside the kitchen area. And I thought it would go better out here. And it, the, it really made the place look really nice in this area. This is my little chill spot where I come and just unwind from the day. And as you can see over here in the corner, I have a little beverage area here and I can indulge in a glass of wine or maybe a little stronger beverage if that's the kind of day that I had or if I have guests coming over and they uh, would like to indulge in a stronger beverage other than wine or you know wine coolers then they have that choice as well as you come back in from the sunroom you walk right into the living room which I wanted to make sure that this room was cozy it was warm it was romantic and it was inviting enough to want you to sit down and just get comfortable and have a lounging day watching television on a rainy sunny uh, Sunday day and just enjoy your football game enjoy lifetime as I love to do and just be as comfortable as you want to be so I decided to go ahead and put a nice lamp over here in the corner that lamp was purchased from oh my goodness where did I get that from I believe that came from Wayfair I'm not a hundred percent sure so I will link that down in the description bar as well but it was a really nice find and it really gave me the touch that I was looking for because that corner was actually kind of empty looking before I placed that there and then on the ottoman here I placed the ottoman right in front of the fireplace just to give it a little ambiance and then I have this tray here 
and I just put some decor on it and of course I have the Bible there and my cover and it just it's really a nice warm welcoming feeling it gives me that comfort that I'm looking for at the end of a stressful day or like I said me and the kids can just come in here and chill and watch television and just get under the covers and have a cozy cozy day As we come off of the living room area to the left of me, I have the boys room in there and I, I did a nice little transformation video so you guys could see what the bedroom looked like before and what it looks like now and the boys absolutely love it. The bunk beds came from Wayfair. I am still intending on replacing the bookcase and also the dresser that is in here right now with something more of a sturdier quality. The ones that's in here right now, one was a bookcase and I just cut it in half and made it into their little storage for their toys and then the other that came from Walmart as well. So those two pieces will change out but the bunk beds are absolutely great they are of great quality like i said the boys are really enjoying it and it's it, it given it's given the space more space because the boys are growing and they're going to need that extra space so i'm really happy with the purchase of those bunk beds the rug it's from Big Lots and I did a video on that as well and I try to remember to link these videos down below. I always say I'm going to do it and I always forget. And then once you come out of the boys room you have the bathroom and I wanted to give the bathroom a, a spa like feeling. Because I work in the atmosphere that I work in, I need everything in my home to exude, refresh, relax, chill, let it go. It's okay, you are home now. So I wanted to bring that, of course, into the bathroom when I'm in here taking my shower or my bath and I wanted to make sure that it was nice and cozy and that's why I chose the colors that I chose in here. White is a very calming and a pure, it puts you in a pure state of mind. And then you light your candles and it's just, the atmosphere is just wonderful and I accomplished what I was looking to do. And then we leave from the bathroom and we go into the queen's space, <laughs> which is my bedroom, if you didn't know. I did a lot of changes in this room and the wall color is what was throwing me off from the moment that I got into this space. And I was like, okay, what am I gonna do with this space? Well, how am I gonna make this color work with my style? So I ran from blue the whole time I've been here. Because as you guys know, I told you about the story with my mom. She always had a blue room and I did not want a blue room. So I ended up going with blue anyway, as you can see. So I just ran with that theme and got some really nice pictures from Home Goods, and that's on the back of the wall above my headboard. I am planning on getting a king size bed, but that will come later. And then I went with this blue bed spread, which is absolutely gorgeous. It's really good quality. I purchased that from Walmart. It really keeps me nice and warm because I love covers at night. 
and it helps me to sleep better. And the quality on this comforter is really nice. It was $60, $59.99, so it was $60, and it was a wonderful purchase. I'm not sad that I made that purchase. And then, as you can see over in the corner by my closet, I took a desk and I brought it up here. And this space is going to be used for my everyday makeup, you know, when I just need to do something really quick to my face. And I wanted something that was, you know, easy to access. And so I think this space does. And then over in the corner, the other corner, I have a bookcase and I picked that bookcase up from Walmart. And all I did was just place a few little items in here, my perfume, my lotions, and some other odds and ends in here to make the room a little more comfy and cozy. Hey Fancy Beauties and Bows, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It gave me a warm feeling inside to bring this video to you and to welcome you into my home. I hope that you found something in here, the way that I place items, that can kind of help you with where you want to place things in your home as well. I do have a separate video that's coming out in regards to how to put pieces in an open forum in your home if you have an open floor plan. I will bring that video to you soon, so stay on the lookout for that. In the comment sections down below, let me know what room was your favorite and why. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Until we meet again, fancy beauty symbols. Stay focused on God. Stay focused on yourself. Stay true to yourself and don't give up. And stay fancy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.